Thank you for purchasing the ball magnet. We hope you have many years of enjoyment from it. The ball magnet is easy to install and takes less than five minutes. No tools are needed and while it is easier to install with two people, one person can also install it with ease in the same time frame. A couple of things to remember before we start. First, we recommend that you do not unpack your ball magnet until ready to install on the court. Do not use scissors or a knife to open the ball magnet as you may cut the netting inside. OK, let's install it. Remove the ball magnet from the packaging and lay it on the court close to the tennis net with the posts pointing towards the tennis net. Ensure that the ends of the spools with the white cord threaded through the netting are closest to the tennis net. Unroll both spools, making sure it unrolls smoothly and without any netting slipping off the end of the spools. Notice that on one set of posts there are black cords and on the other set of posts black straps. Locate and extend these before going any further as they will go around the tennis net posts in a minute. Each person should now pick up the two wooden posts at either end. Grasp the middle of each post, one in each hand, and pull away from the centre of the court in order to fully stretch out the netting. The white cord is now at the bottom edge of the ball magnet. Separate the posts about a foot and together with your partner move the ball magnet into position above the tennis net so that the two sides of the ball magnet can be lowered onto each side of the tennis net. Lower the two posts with the black cords first so that they rest on the court surface on either side of the tennis net. The black cords should now be extended around the tennis net posts. Check that the two ball magnet posts are vertical and adjacent on either side of the tennis net. Also check that the cords are set horizontally and parallel to one another around the tennis net post. At the other end, stretch out the ball magnet by pulling on the two posts and secure the two longer straps around the tennis net post. Tighten these straps just enough to take out the slack, but do not fully tighten them. Time to make final adjustments. First ensure that the straps are tightened no more than will hold the ball magnet horizontally. The ball magnet works best when not over tightened so ensure that it is sufficiently tight so as not to sag, but no more. It should follow the line of the tennis net. If it is too tight, the ball magnet will not work optimally and balls may bounce back into the court. Now ensure each side of the ball magnet are at the same height and each approximately 9 inches from the top of the tennis net. You will notice that each side is connected by three thin cords or tethers that hang over the tennis net. These cords can be pulled up or down to help adjust the height of each side of the ball magnet. The center tether also includes a cord lock tensioner. This is an optional refinement that can be used to prevent the ball magnet from shifting. Simply insert the cord lock through the two loops on the center tether and tighten. Now check that the three layers of netting on either side are overlapping like Venetian blinds. Finally, you can adjust the height of the bottom layer of netting for different types of play. To do this, locate the six cord lock tensioners, three on each side, that are located on the top edge of the bottom layer of netting. Simply squeeze the tensioner and either pull or release the line to adjust the height of the bottom edge. For drilling sessions, cardio tennis and when using ball machines, in other words when dozens of balls are in play, we recommend that the ball magnet is set approximately 2 to 2.5 inches above the court surface. This allows the balls to be retained approximately 1 to 3 feet from the tennis net. For match play, we recommend the bottom edge be set 1 to 1.5 inches above the court surface. This will trap most balls right at the bottom of the tennis net. OK, you are ready to play. A couple of tips on maintenance. 
the first two few days of play, check the tension on the ball magnet, as the tensioning cords and straps may stretch a little during initial use. As with all tennis nets, it will also require the occasional check and adjustment. From time to time, we recommend that you also check the tension on the net and the two main tensioner straps. Again, do not over tighten the ball magnet. Also check the height of the ball magnet above the court surface. Remember 2 to 2.5 inches is ideal for most types of play, 1 to 1.5 inches for match play. Check the three layers of netting on either side continue to overlap. And finally, check the height on each side is the same. Beyond that, the ball magnet can be left in place continuously, including for match play. We do recommend that you remove it for winter and store it in the included storage bag. To remove the ball magnet, simply loosen the straps at the end post and lift the ball magnet up and off the tennis net. Keep it taut and shake it up and down like you might when folding a sheet or blanket. Then stretch it out on the court and roll it up from each end towards the middle. Make sure the nets do not spill over the end of the posts and keep mild tension on the ball magnet while rolling it up so that the spools are tight when completed. Store it in the included storage bag and don't forget to get it out next season. We hope the ball magnet improves your game.